Welcome to the Daily Prophetic Word. And the Daily Prophetic Word for Saturday, the 28th of December 2019, is the restoration of the ex church. Restore my altar to its former glory and establish my true church of the book of Acts, a church that could thrive during persecution, a church full of zeal and love for me. They took their cross and followed me. They established home churches wherever they could. Restoration of the ex church. They were an action-filled church, spreading my gospel of the kingdom for all to hear and lifted up needy, I sent to them. They were bold in spirit and faith. They were humble before me and in unity with all believers. They acted in one accord and had all in common, the restoration of the ex church. Such is my true church. Restore such assemblies in your homes and neighborhoods so that you serve your, our Father in heaven as true sons and daughters. I will send you the helper as I did for my apostles and you will do even greater things than I did. Walk in my spirit and restore the church of Acts. And this was the end of the message received from the Holy Spirit for Saturday the 28th of December 2019. Let us stand in powerful glory when we pray. This is a good image. It shows the power that you have received from the Holy Spirit. Now let it shine forth. You are, we are the lights. We are the church. We are supernatural. Now it's the time to show it for us. Establish the dwelling places of Zion, the home churches, in your places. Gather the people together. Train and teach them. Empower them. The Lord will send the Holy Spirit and send them out as disciples in the neighborhoods to gather the lame, the nameless, the sick, the poor, the forgotten ones. As it is written in the Bible, the last will be the first, and the poor will inherit the kingdom. Now is the time to go into the byways, into the small roads, and to gather the people, because the rich ones, the powerful, the, the mighty ones have already rejected us. Now we are looking for the nameless and the faceless. This is our time to bring in the harvest. And how do we do that? By restoring the church of the book of Acts. One accord, sharing resources, having all in common, supporting one another. Very important in a time of persecution and natural disaster. Supporting one another and lifting up the needy, the nameless and faceless by showing forth an example of the love of the Father and in doing so gathering in the great harvest of the ages. Our time has come to shine, to sparkle, to bring forth a light, to bring forth a firework like this image shows. We are the light and we are the church and we are supernatural. We are the two sons and daughters of the Most High. So let us take our cross and walk with him together, hand in hand as husband and bride and bring in the harvest of the ages. Let us gather the people. Let's create a great revival. The revival will not come to the old churches. The revival will not come to the world. The revival will come to our home churches. It will come to our dwelling places of Zion. And God will protect us against the persecution of the false prophet and against the persecution of the Antichrist. Now it's the time to be on fire. Look at this image. This is you. This is you. You have that light. You have that power. You have that sparkle. Use it. Build a home church in your house today. Gather the people together. Train and teach them in our ways. And let them walk the narrow and righteous path of the Lord towards the holy mountain, towards Mount Zion. Because this is a time of the true church. This is a time for you to shine. This is a time for you to be ready and to walk and to do something. Why is it called Acts? Because there were a lot of action involved. The apostles went out and we will went out and we will gather in the harvest of the ages and we will bring in the wheat into the barn of the Lord. It is our time and we are the church. Let us burst into flames. Let us sparkle. Let us show forth our light. Thank you that you have listened to this daily prophetic word. And if you're guided to help our ministry and to help bringing forth the light into the nations, then please go into the first pin comment. 
Follow that link, partner up with Triple Grace through Patreon and help us that we can grow, that we can bring the message to all the people, that all the lights will assemble together and that we can bring in the harvest of the ages for our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and for our Holy Father, the only living God. May God bless you and your family abundantly. Have a great day and I hope I will see you again tomorrow. Maranatha.